hi i am krishna and uh, welcome to this video in this video i will uh, demonstrate you how we can interconnect to different blockchains using ignite cli so basically we will see interoperability between blockchains okay so uh, in this uh, in this video uh, i will show you how to send uh, our packet from one blockchain to uh, another blockchain so for uh, achieving this goal we need some prerequisites uh, that uh, we can say we need some software that uh, uh, that is installed in our system so first we need uh, a system with unix or unix related uh, kernel that is pre-installed in it we also need go environment you can uh, easily download it from uh, the website of go uh, so obviously uh, you need uh, some id for editing code you also need a uh, cosmos sdk ignite cli ignite relayer and star kit so this uh, especially this four from cosmos and stargate you can easily uh, down, uh, download it from the website of ignite so these four packages are bundled with uh, ignite cli so you can uh, you can refer to ignite uh, websites okay now let's uh, move to the next thing so let's uh, let's see uh, what is uh, ignite cli so ignite cli uh, offers everything that we need to build test launch uh, our blockchain with a decentralized worldwide community so uh, especially so we ignite is uh, built on top of cosmos sdk and uh, tendermint uh, consensus algorithm so cosmos uh, sdk is a very famous uh, blockchain framework so uh, ignite is built on top of it so uh, using uh, ignite this scaffolding of uh, uh, blockchain is very easy and uh, we can do it in very elegant manner now uh, let's see what is the life cycle of ignite cli so in ignite cli we can create modular blockchain that is written in go we can we can create modules we can create packet packets we can create messages which have some uh, CRUD related operation so you can create delete update so you can do uh, this type of operation on that uh, modules so now you can see here uh, it is also written at IBC packet so it is the most important feature that helps in connecting two different blockchain so uh, there is one more uh, important thing is that uh, uh, when 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 we uh, create a blockchain using ignite so it has a feature of live reloading so when we uh, you can uh, change some code or some piece of code in your uh, uh, your uh, packages uh, you can uh, your modules then it uh, uh, it reloads on live server okay so it is uh, it is all about ignite so let's quickly move to the uh, implementation part so for creation of new blockchain we just need to write uh, this command so once uh, when you install uh, uh, let let me write so now you can see that i have already installed uh, ignite on my system uh, so just wait and you will see i have already installed ignite cli version 0.25.1 which is the latest version of ignite and also you can also see go.version go and ignite both are installed in my system so so i will not show uh, how uh, i will not show you how i will not show you how to create this function you you you, you you can just uh, uh, write this piece of code in uh, your command after installation of ignite and your chain so you just need to write ignite scaffold chain chain ignite scaffold chain is command and my chain is the name of the blockchain network so instead of this i have created uh, a blockchain named planet so what i am doing is 
I'm creating uh, two blockchain networks like uh, one is uh, earth and one is uh, Mars you can uh, you can see it here uh, so it is like uh, one is earth there uh, and one is Mars so we will uh, we will send packet from this blockchain to Mars and uh, uh, after receiving uh, the packet from earth uh, Mars will acknowledge to earth and uh, we can do vice versa also okay so let's see how to achieve this uh, this uh, goal okay so we have to do some couple of things so when uh, when uh, you run uh, this command uh, let me move to the previous side when when you run this uh, ignite scaffold chain my my chain command so uh, there is uh, you'll see uh, lots of uh, lots of uh, files are created uh, in a folder in your directory uh, the folder is like my chain so in my case it is planet so I have created planet blockchain and uh, you see a bunch of uh, files and folders like app so th these files are created by uh, ignite so we don't need to do uh, much changes in these files we just need to uh, restructure uh, our our packet formats what type of packets we are sending from uh, one blockchain to another blockchain okay so uh, don't need to uh, uh, change uh, change uh, piece of code, much piece piece of piece of code okay so let's see so the very first thing that we need to change is uh, in the packet dot proto file that is uh, you can find it from this uh, folder proto and here it is packet .to .to here so what we did is we have created uh, a packet structure so uh, that uh, packet is uh, comprised of title content creator we have given some id uh, for title it is one for content it is two and for creator it is three as you can see here okay now uh, now uh, now we have also need to uh, do some couple of changes uh, in uh, in this uh, in this file that is ibc post dot go so when uh, when we uh, create uh, when we uh, create the module with ibc facility uh, in our uh, uh, this blockchain so uh, this bunch of files are uh, created so in this files we have to change uh, couple of things so here uh, so in transmit uh, you can see in this function so it is created by uh, ignite blockchain ignite uh, framework we only need to append this these lines of code here so uh, it is uh, nothing but uh, it is all about uh, what are the packet bytes what are the sequence source port source channel destination for destination channel timeout heads timeout time distance okay so on uh, this uh, transmit ibc post packet we have to uh, do these changes similarly on receive ibc post packet so here you can uh, uh, here also we need to uh, add some couple of lines id so here uh, it, uh, uh, it it uh, it has three uh, fields that is creator title content so uh, here you can see we have created three types of uh, thing, uh, three three type of uh, parameters in this packet, three type of structure in this packet. So we can uh, we can we can fetch these things from uh, here. So in creator field that is uh, appended with the source port uh, and source channel and who who created that packet, what is the title of that packet and content of that packet. So I'm not going deeply into it it is uh, obvious similarly in acknowledgement we have uh, we have uh, added the same piece of code and also in timeout ibc post packet we have did the same thing okay let's uh, so these changes we need to do uh, after uh, after creation of uh, planet blockchain and uh, uh, packet after creation of packet okay now the very most important thing is 
so uh, till now it is just uh, one blockchain so maybe uh, can say so let me do, uh, don't don't say okay now so here you are seeing uh, two files mars.yml and earth.yml so these files are created uh, by me and uh, earth.yml uh, so basically uh, what we are doing here is we are uh, informing our ignite cli so what is the information what is the very first information that is uh, required that is needed for our first blockchain so it takes uh, uh, configuration file so here uh, initially when uh, you run this command uh, for very first time you will see config.yml here but but uh, actually i am i am creating two different blockchains in uh, in this pc only so that's why i have created two different configuration file that is one earth.yml and one and the second one is mars.yml so in earth.yml you'll see uh, the version that is one that is uh, the current version of the configuration file in uh, ignite cli so uh, so it has uh, two accounts uh, created uh, when the chain is served that is one is Alice and that uh, another is Bob and the second uh, field is uh, validator so who is the validator of that chain that is uh, Alice with the stake of this this is defined by me only and uh, it is very important field that is home field so we have to uh, we have to put this line uh, inside the validators this is the uh, because uh, because when uh, the blockchain is created by ignite so we are to store where uh, uh, this data as this transactions are stored so we have to we have to uh, add this line only uh, one more thing is faucet faucet is basically uh, uh, from uh, from which we we will fund amount to the accounts so here uh, can see faucet and genesis in genesis will we need to add a uh, chain id so for the first blockchain the chain id is earth now let's see uh, another uh, let's see uh, the second one uh, mars so here uh, most of the things are same but uh, actually uh, the earth in earth.yml file we didn't mention any rpc port uh, any api any faucet port because uh, when we run this chain uh, i will show in uh, later video when we run this uh, chain it will start uh, on default on default uh, rpc port and on default api so it will run on default default ports but when we uh, when we run this mars.yml then uh, we have to uh, we have to define some of the we have to change some of the configuration here you can see here also our two accounts are uh, included allies and bob validator is allies only the home directory is uh, uh, home.mars and this is very important so uh, we will run uh, the second blockchain on uh, uh, the port number this is this is the rpc port number where this tendermint node is running tendermint node will run that is six two six six five nine okay and uh, 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 you, you can also see here the faucet host is four five zero one in the case of earth.yml that is four five zero zero here it is four five zero one and uh, the chain id is mars so now we have uh, we have uh, created two configuration for our two different blockchain now uh, main the code part is done now we'll see how to connect now we'll see uh, 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 so okay now we'll start uh, our uh, chains into our server local host server so before starting the chain we have to uh, import uh, we have to export the go environment part to our path variable because uh, 
Uh, there, uh, there is a work in uh, current uh, version of the Ignite uh, CLI. It is still in development phase, so uh, we have to manually export the path. So after exporting the path, uh, we we need to write uh, Ignite chain. So uh, before, uh, first we need to go to uh, the path where we have installed, where we have uh, created our planet blockchain now here uh, uh, we have to serve the first chain that is earth so for that we have to write ignite chain as here serve minus c earth dot yml so here uh, when we press enter it will start initializing so uh, it will take time so let's see after uh, after the completion of this uh, this this serve okay let wait for its completion so let's uh, so it is completed now uh, you can see here uh, the earth blockchain is started on the tendermint node uh, 0 so 0 0.0.0.0, 0 .0, 0, 0 is basically our uh, representation of local server so uh, this earth blockchain is started on the tender mid node localhost and port number 26657 and uh, you can see also token faucet is uh, 4500 and blockchain yeah. api is 1370 so our earth blockchain is uh, started running on this port now our now we will we'll open one more terminal and uh, here we will do the same thing and I will start the we will start our second blockchain that is Mars. So first we need to go to the planet trip planet directory here we have to run this export command and now we will uh, serve ignite chain sir minus c m a r s mars start this is mars configuration file and now when I hit enter it, it will uh, create another blockchain on the different port so let's wait till it so uh, after long wait uh, both blockchains are running and here you can see in on this port or the blockchain is running with uh, this accounts allies with this address and both with this address similarly in uh, you can also see uh, our second blockchain mars uh, is running on this port so it is running on 26659 it is running on 26657 okay so now uh, we have we have uh, created uh, two blockchains and uh, now it's time to connect both the blockchains so it will be done uh, using ignite relayer for that uh, we need one more command line interface uh, so let's wait uh, let's wait till it opens so so here what we do is what will we do is we will uh, configure our relayer so we will configure our relayer to connect to meet connection between these two blockchains so let's so i know uh, it is little bit uh, hectic because uh, it is very uh, time taking process and it is very lengthy process let's uh, now let's move to cd uh, planet same directory here first we need to remove all our previous chains that we can uh, so before we have to run we have to export co-environment now now we will uh, remove all pre-configured files that are uh, pre-configured uh, pre earlier so we can uh, do it by writing 
slash dot ignite and uh, relay so it will it will generate all the previous changes uh, that are used for the testing purpose so now now uh, we need to uh, configure the relayer between uh, these two blockchains so for that uh, I have already written uh, written that code uh, config in configuration.txt file so let, let me open it So we have to execute this command. So now we will execute this command. Here you can see what we are configuring the ignite layer. So ignite layer configure minus a. So we are configuring manually. So we have to provide some of the parameters. So here you can see source RPC. So our first blockchain is running on this this tender window. So we have to provide this tender window address here similarly source fossil we can, uh, you, you have to provide this source port block so in the relay uh, there is a port uh, that, that that is uh, we can give uh, any name so block is a port number where both blockchains interact with the relay so source version we have written block one so because we have created the packets in form of posts where that where uh, it contains title, creator, and uh, uh, content. So we have also uh, added the gas price, gas prefix, gas limit for the source. Same thing we have to uh, add for the target also for target RPC is uh, that the RPC server where our the second blockchain is running that is Mars. So the target RPC target for set target port in both cases the port number should be same because both blockchains are connecting both blockchains are interacted interacting with the same uh, port uh, port of the relay so we have to provide the same port okay. so here also the gas price is uh, this one and uh, gas limit is this one okay now when we will hit enter uh, it will ask two things source account take it default take it default now in both account it will try to uh, it, it will try to uh, uh, give uh, money to the both accounts and you can see here configured change so we have uh, successfully configured the change between earth and mars now now we have to clear this uh, uh, terminal now the chains are already configured, configured now we have to make connection between both the chains so for that we have to use ignite ignite relayer connect so as uh, we write this uh, into the terminal and when you press enter it will start making links between the chains earth and block so it will take uh, a little bit of time and after that uh, it it will start relaying the packets between both the chains after that okay let's wait for the completion of this uh, this command So, 
so the task is completed here and uh, you can see uh, ignite is successfully uh, created the chain and uh, started listening and relaying the packets between chains so uh, we have uh, already configured our relayer so relayer is all uh, working listening and relaying packets our uh, both blockchains are running uh, on this, these ports now uh, we will uh, try to send packet from the first blockchain to the second blockchain that is from earth to mars and we, try, and we also try to uh, send packet from mars to earth also so uh, for that first we need to uh, go to our uh, planet Depository. Uh, then we have to export the export the environment. And for sending packets from Earth, so we need to give command to our Ignite CLI. How? So for that, uh, we will write uh, Planet D. That is the name of our application. Planet D, and uh, we have to also write. Uh, uh, tx for transaction blog uh, send and pc post on blog port number and channel one and uh, the title of this uh, message is uh, hello and the content of message is hello uh, hello mars i am alice from ERTHR. Okay, we have to also mention some flags like uh, from where we are sending, from which accounts we are sending, from allies, and uh, chain uh, ID is uh, uh, ERTH. We are sending it from Earth blockchain and uh, location of this uh, direct this blockchain is. Uh, as home folder as earth folder okay as we press enter it will ask for transaction we have to, when we press yes then transaction is done and uh, let's see I, I think it will take some time and the transaction is done successfully and now I'll see so uh, we have successfully uh, done the transaction I will see whether our uh, our relayer relays the packet so here you can see uh, relayer uh, ignite relayer relays one packet from earth to mars and automatically the acknowledgement is received from mars to earth so now we will verify whether that post is received by mars or not for that we have to write we give a query to the planet app and for the query we have to write q and then we are doing query on the blog post and we have to list all the post and on and we are we want to list this post on blockchain network uh, local post and that is uh, 2669 and when we hit enter we will see uh, so i think uh, sorry sorry we have i have written wrong port number so planet d in blog is to uh, post and it does node tcp local local host and port number is 26659 basically i have written 26659 that is not the value <coughs> number when we hit enter we can uh, we can see there are so uh, previously I have uh, used uh, this message for testing and you can see this message is received on uh, Mars blockchain so hello Mars I am Elias from Mars and it is received from and the creator of this message is uh, this account that is that is the account number of allies here you can see 
this is the account number of allies from the earth blockchain so it is clear that we have uh, received this post from earth now we will try <coughs> to send the packet from mars to earth and so now let's see uh, if we want to send a packet from mars blockchain to uh, the earth blockchain so we have to write planet d transaction uh, module we have to send this packet via uh, ibc post port number channel number title and message so we are sending it from uh, uh, allies and uh, the chain id is mars and uh, we are sending this packet from the second blockchain when we hit it uh, it will ask for confirmation of the transaction when we press yes transaction is confirmed and uh, after the confirmation of transaction uh, let's wait transaction is confirmed and <coughs> we can we can see the hash of the transaction and all the details related to this transaction so now uh, now when we open our terminal we can we can see that this packet is released from mars to earth and also one acknowledgement one acknowledgement is issued from earth to mars okay so in this case uh, mm, let's verify whether uh, that packet is received on earth or not for that we have to write planet t uh, block i think we have to write uh, query planet q q block list port <coughs> we hit enter we will see we have successfully received this message from mars so the content is hello earth i am allies from mars and uh, creator is blog channel one and the account address of the uh, allies on mars so you can see this account is uh, refers to mm, uh, sorry this is the you can see you can see this account refers to <coughs> allies d8 you can match this account with this account so hence uh, here we we have seen we have sent one packet from earth to mars and one packet from mars to earth so after this uh, we successfully uh, create the interoperable blockchain you can also see this relay it it is successful it successfully relays one packet from earth to mars one packet from mars to earth one packet from mars to earth one packet from to mars so thank you for uh, watching this video and uh, i have completed with my presentation this is just a preview these are the previews of this uh, <coughs> implementation that we that i have Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching this video.